Hi everyone, welcome to story time. I hope you can see me now. I had some technical issues earlier, so if I'm late, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I'm here now, I hope, and I hope everyone can see me. So let me try this again. So my name is Marsha, and I'll be doing story time for you this morning. So welcome to my home, and let's go ahead and get started, especially now that I'm a little bit late. Um, so we're gonna start with a little song. It's called The More We Get Together. So let's go ahead. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Okay, so again, good morning and welcome to story time. And as I said, I'm sorry if I was a little bit late getting started. Um, but I'm here now, and we're going to start reading some of my favorite books by, whoops, and I dropped it, by Carmel Wilson, and illustrated by Jane Chapman. So this one is called Bear Sees Colors. Mouse and bear are walking. They are, they are chitter chatter talking. So much for them to do. And the bear sees blue, blue flowers by the trail, blueberries, blue pale, blue, blue everywhere. Can you spy blue with bear? I see blue all over the page and I see blue behind me in the painting. Along the trail hops hair. Howdy ho there, mouse and bear. Hair points up ahead and the bear sees red, red blossoms, red cherries, red juicy raspberries, red, red everywhere. Can you spy red with bear? Oh, I see red everywhere. There's a red pail, a red watering can here and I see red on my fingernails. Badger's at the pond with his old galoshes on. Look there, Badger bellows, and the bear sees yellow. Drippy, sticky, oh so yummy honeycombs with yellow honey. Yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like bear? I do see yellow. There's yellow all over the page. Gophers out with mole. They are on a little stroll. Bear spots them by the stream and the bear sees green. Green mint for making tea. Green and tasty sweet peas. Green, green everywhere. Can you spy green with bear? I see green. Raven, owl, and wren lay a picnic in the glen. The friends all gather round and the friends see brown chocolate cake, brown and sweet, brown cookies, such a treat. Brown eyes, brown hair, friendly, fluffy, bear. Colors, colors everywhere. Can you find colors just like bear? So take a look around and see what colors you can see. If you see any colors near you, can you type them out for me so that I can see what you see? I know I'm looking out my window and I see red. I see red and green out there. And I see a bunch of other colors, maybe some yellow and some pink on the trees. So that was bear sees colors. So we're gonna move on to another book, also by Karma Wilson, and one that I really love. And this one is called Bear Wants More. So this one is also illustrated by Jane Chapman, like the other, like Bear Sees Colors was. When springtime comes in his warm winter den, a bear wakes up very hungry and thin. 
So he had been hibernating all winter. So he woke up very, very hungry. He waddles outside and roots all around. He digs and he paws fresh shoots from the ground. He nibbles on his lawn till the last blade is gone, but the bear wants more. Mouse scampers by with his acorn pail. Come along, mouse squeaks to Strawberry Vale. So up mouse hops onto bear's big back. They tromp through the woods for a fresh fruit snack. The berries grow sweet and they eat, 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 but the bear wants more. The noon sun glows when a long hops hair. Good day, friend mouse. How do, friend bear? I'm hungry, roars bear. Hare says, follow me. There's a fresh clover patch by the cottonwood tree. They nibble on their lunch with a crunch, 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 but the Bear wants more. Badger shuffles by with his new fishing pole. There's a fine fish feast at the old fishing hole. They head to the pond and they sit by the bowl, by the shore. Bear catches fish. Can you guess what he's going to say? But he still wants more. Meanwhile, back at the big bear's den, wait gopher and mole with raven and wren. They bake honey cakes, they decorate the lair. It's a springtime party for their good friend bear. See how they're decorating his lair? They have some daisies. Bear rubs at his tummy. He smells something yummy, and he still wants more. Bear sniffs and he snuffles as a sweet breeze blows. He romps to his home. He follows his nose. His friends yell, surprise, when he goes to his den. But Bear is so big. See bear. That he can't fit in. Bear wells, what luck, I am stuck, stuck, stuck in my own front door. Mouse squeaks, poor bear, he is wedged too tight. Hare tugs, raven pushes with all of their might. Badger gets a stick and he pries so hard that bear pops out and lands in his yard. Since bear is so wide, they party outside and he still wants more. Bear opens presents, he gobbles honey cakes, he eats so much that his big tummy aches. Mm. He snuggles in the grass and he snores big snores. He is full, 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 but his friends want more. So that was the end of bear wants more. So what did you think? Do you ever wake up sometimes just so hungry that you just want to eat everything? Hmm. Maybe if you'd slept all winter like bear, that might happen. Okay, so we have one more book that we're going to do today. And this one is called Bear Counts. So can everyone count along with me while we read this book? And again, this is written by Karma Wilson, 
and illustrated by Jane Chapman. Mouse and Bear share breakfast. Basking in the morning sun, Bear looks up and points, and the bear counts. One, one sun floating high, one giant dragonfly, one robin on her nest, only one berry left. Numbers, numbers everywhere. Can you count along with bear? So this was one. Mouse and bear see hair, and hair calls out, howdy do. He is holding yummy fruit, and the bear counts. Two, two paws which hold a treat, two apples crisp and sweet, two stumps for perfect chairs, two friends who love to share. Numbers, numbers everywhere. Can you count along with bear? One, two. Bear hears funny sounds coming from an aspen tree. It is raven, owl, and wren, and the bear counts. Three, three chums who chitter chat, three funny muskrats, three clouds above the trees, three bumbling bumblebees, numbers, numbers everywhere. Can you count along with bear? One, two, three. Bear cries, look, it's badger, mole, and gopher by the shore. Badger has his fishing pole, and the bear counts. Four. Four fish splish and splash. Four geese waddle past. Four turtles on a log. Four croaking, hopping frogs. Numbers, numbers everywhere. Can you count along with bear? One, two, three, four. Mouse squeaks, let's go swimming, and in the pond they dive. The friends float in the pond and the bear counts. Five, five ducks in the water. Five lively river otters, five lovely lily pads, five pinching crawdads. Numbers, numbers everywhere. Now you can count just like bear. One, two, three, four, five. So that was Bear Counts by Jane Chapman, illustrated by Jane Chapman, and written by Karma Wilson. So I hope everyone enjoyed this story time today. I'm sorry I was a little bit late getting started. There was a little technical difficulty at the beginning, but I'm glad you joined me, and I'm so glad that we could all be together today. So I'm actually going to say goodbye for now. So there's a little song that I like to sing, and it's called, my hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. And my feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this story time and check back with us again next week and see if we're continuing story time. Thank you, goodbye.